Hello and welcome! I'm Ethan K with Game Changer, and today I'm going to show you how to make a tank combat game using Tinker. In this tutorial, we will be using physics, so if you haven't already, check out our racing game, which uses the Tinker physics engine as well. Okay, let's get started. So, as you can see, I've created a blank project. The first thing we're going to do is delete the monster here, and we're going to add an after. Since we are uh, making a tank game, we're going to add some tanks. So under sci-fi, choose blue tank top. Okay, so then go to stage and drag in an on start. Since we're going to be using the physics engine, uh, we need to add uh, the physics blocks to our game. So click on physics and start physics. We also don't want gravity. So we are going to set gravity to zero by zero. The next thing we are going to do is create movement for the blue tank. So go to blue tank top and we want to go to events and drag in when up arrow pressed and drag in three more, so a total of four, and choose when we're going to use WASD for this tank, so WASD for the movement, and uh, we want to have the tank move while the key is being pressed. So we're going to go to control and drag in a repeat while into each one. And we want to move while each key is being pressed. So go to sensing and drag in a key up arrow pressed into each of the slots where it says false. and change each of these to match the when pressed. So this will be W, this will be A, this will be S, and this will be D. Okay, so now we can add our movement. So go to physics, and in order to make our tank move, we are going to actually search uh, apply impulse and drag in one of those to W and S. So what what the apply impulse block does is it's going to apply a force to the tank which will make it move either in the forward or backward direction. Okay so now we're going to change apply impulse under W to 1 and the apply impulse under S to negative 1. This will mean that the tank will move forward in a positive direction when you press W and backwards in the negative direction when you press S. Okay, so now we want our tank to rotate left or right when A and D are pressed. So let's go to motion. Scroll down until you find the turn right and turn left. Um, we want our tank to turn right when D is pressed and left when A is pressed. And we don't want it to turn that much, so just make it 0 0.5 degrees for each one. And this will allow your tank to turn. Um, the last thing we're going to do for this right now is we're going to go to events and drag in an on start um, and back to physics we're going to set active to true and static to false this means that the tank will be able to interact with other objects we're also going to search for damping And we're going to set linear damping and angular damping both to 4. This means that 
eventually the tank will come to a stop. It won't keep moving forever. Um, it'll slow down and eventually its speed will reach zero. Um, so now we can try playing our game. And when you press these keys, you'll notice that your tank actually is able to move. Great, so now let's create the stage. So let's move the tank over a little bit, make it smaller. And since it's going to be a two player game, um, let's duplicate the tank. So go to more and duplicate. And put it on the other side. Over here. And since this is going to be the second player, um, let's make the keys uh, the arrow keys. So when up arrow key is pressed, instead of when W is pressed, then we'll have the second player move. And we'll do the same thing for the rest of the keys. Okay, and since we want to be able to tell the difference between each tank, we're actually going to make this tank green. So in order to do that, let's go to um, settings and add a costume. And we're again going to go to sci-fi and choose tank top green or green tank top. And we're going to delete the blue tank top costume. And we have a green tank. Let's, let's rename it as well um, to green tank top. Or better yet, this green tank. And we'll change the blue tank top as well to just blue tank. Okay, so now you should be able to see that both tanks can move. The green tank with the arrow keys and the blue tank with WASD. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do for this part is create walls. Um, to do so, we're going to add an actor, and we're going to go to Media Library, and we're going to go to Sci-Fi, and choose Space Platform. In the code of the Space Platform, we are going to drag in an on start. So, events, on start, and then go to Physics, and set active to true so it'll be able to interact with other objects and set static to true meaning it won't be able to move so i'm just going to create a map here you can uh, copy this block by duplicating it and create your own map. Um, I'm just going to quickly create a map. So as you can see, I create a quick map. The tanks are now able to, to hit these objects and not go off screen, both forward and backward. Everything seems to be working well. That's actually it for this tutorial. In part two, we will be 
Um, we'll be creating shooting mechanics as well as a score system. Don't forget to save your, your game. I'm just going to call this two player tanks. Click the save. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.